What's up you guys? Today I want to talk to you a little bit about slugs and snails. Maybe, you know, you're doing some gardening and you realize that there's a bunch of holes in your plants or your tomato plant or whatever. Um, yeah, they can do a lot of damage to your garden. Uh, this isn't exactly a insect that you see getting inside the house. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a slug inside the house. Uh, but you, they can gather in great large numbers outside and make a mess on your porch or your deck and they can wreak havoc on a garden. So if you continue watching, I'll tell you why they're gathering around your house and how you can get rid of them. My experience with slugs around my house, uh, I have this shed that has vinyl siding, and I guess, you know, the vinyl siding, after a while, if you don't pressure wash it, it gets that nastiness that kind of, kind of builds up on the siding there. And every year I have hordes of slugs crawling all over the siding, I only assume is eating that nastiness off of it. Um, so I don't have a garden or anything, but that's where my slug issues lie, is just they just make a, a big mess on my shed. Maybe you have similar issues with slugs. I know it's really popular in the garden community. They do a lot of damage to tomato plants and lettuce leaves and things like that. Generally, they only come out um, at night. They're mostly nocturnal but they will come out during the evenings or just dark days. Slugs, their life cycle from egg to adult. Um, the females lay about 25 eggs or more at a time. Those eggs take about a month before they hatch. And then after hatching, the larva, you know, go straight to eating, looking for food. And it takes as little as three months for a slug or snail to become full size, a full sized adult. Moisture levels largely dictate the activity of the slug and snail. They're not gonna hang out anywhere where it's dry. Um, usually they're gonna be found under like stepping stones or leaf piles, um, mulch beds, anything they can get under and keep you know, nice and wet. Uh, I mean, if you've seen a slug, they're very slimy. It takes a lot of moisture to keep that up. And they don't want to hang out anywhere. It's going to be dry. Snails have a shell, and they have this ability to, if, you know, weather conditions aren't in their favor, they can kind of hide in their shell and, like, seal the door. And they can go dormant for as much as four years, according to the liter literature. And then they can reappear after conditions are favorable again. Slugs don't have this advantage, and they're generally just going to go away if conditions are not in their favor. When these creatures find a food source to eat, um, generally they're pretty good about going to the food source and then going back to wherever their shelter is every day. And they'll continue this same path until that food source is extinct or their conditions aren't in, uh, wet enough for them to survive there any longer. Um, you can pretty much find them from their trail. They'll take the same slime trail day after day going to that source of food back to their shelter. They're totally content to eat, drink, and sleep and mate. That's all they, that's all they need in life. Removal of harborage areas is a good way to keep slugs away. I know this isn't always possible, but if you get away the piles of leaves and, um, stepping stones. I mean, you know what slugs like. They like being under logs and sticks and, you know, old decaying growth like that. So if you're able to clean this up, that's great. Sometimes you're not. Um, in case you're not, like I said, slugs pretty much take the same path day after day, evening after evening. So if you're seeing a bunch of slugs at night, likely they're the same slugs you saw the night before. And if you go out on a consecutive days, um, consecutive evenings, and you just kill as many slugs as you can or throw away as many slugs as you can, generally you're knock, you'll knock down the population tremendously. Um, whether you want to do that with a salt shaker to sprinkle it on the slugs you see evening after evening or you want to pick them up individually and throw them somewhere, uh, this is an effective means to individually get rid of slugs. Now I know you probably don't want to put in the legwork evening after evening, it doesn't take very long uh, unless you have a massive garden over on with tons and tons of slugs. Uh, another effective method I've seen, at least, um, you know, when I'm doing pest control, I, you know, I've, some customers who have gardens. What I've seen is if you take a shallow dish or like a 
pie baking pan and you dig a little hole and put the top of that pan even with the soil and the dirt and then you fill that with beer there's something about beer that slugs love and every time i see a homeowner do this that thing is filled with slugs and snails and according to the literature um snails can smell somehow i mean i don't know how true this is but slugs can smell this from as up to 200 yards away so some think that all the slugs you see are actually slugs that migrate from your neighbor's yard as well so you're just getting all the slugs in like a 100 200 yard radius are all coming to your garden and drinking your beer and that may be the case um i'll take it with a grain of salt but but yeah that's super effective from knife seed and maybe you should try it yourself um really easy very cheap try that also as i mentioned you know you can pour the salt on the slugs directly or you, i mean if you're not it's not going to be raining for a while just take some of those big salt containers they're pretty cheap and just sprinkle it around your garden make kind of like a ring or a band of salt around your garden slugs aren't going to want to pass over the ground that's saturated with salt because they'll dry out and die um, there are some commercial pesticides you can buy uh, as i've mentioned in previous episodes niban is very effective baits in general are going to be the most effective against slugs in my experience they are pretty resilient against residual sprays uh, i know some sprays claim to work and i'm sure they do after a while but a lot of the times uh, sprays just i don't know in my experience sprays aren't working and baits are going to be the best form of control against these critters natural enemies of slugs and snails are going to be toads birds chickens uh, mice and rats so if you want a natural way to get rid of slugs, maybe consider getting yourself a pet chicken. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else I really have for you. Um, slugs can be messy, they can be gross, but you don't have to live with that. Not really hard to get rid of using any one of the few solutions I've given you. If any of these tips work for you after you try them out, please uh, come back and comment how your experience went. Uh, I like to hear about that. If you enjoyed this video or found something useful, please like and consider subscribing. And uh, until next time, I'll see you and save the bees.